The Verbos Amplitude and Tone Controller has a Vactrol on the filter's cutoff frequency. Normally this adds a bit of slew, but fortunately this Vactrol is fast enough that it still allows some frequency modulation of the cutoff frequency. So let's play around with this patch a little bit more. I'm gonna pull the resonance out, get my sawtooth wave back in here, raise the cutoff, get a normal sound going, and I'm gonna pull a triangle wave from my disting in mode 4D acting as a second oscillator. I'm gonna put on the blue trace so you can see what's going on on the scope. Take that normal output and run that into the control voltage input on the filter. We'll start with no CV or no FM to begin with. So there's our normal filtered sawtooth wave. And let's start boosting up the FM amount. You see the phase relationship between the sawtooth wave, which is our input signal, and the triangle wave, which is our FM, really affects what's happening on the yellow output. The lower the cutoff is very pronounced. This makes it fun to switch to different octaves on the triangle. But the Vactral is still slowing things, so if I go too high in the triangle, we really don't hear the effect quite as much except for just as a wah. We're not really getting that FM emphasis of higher harmonics. When I drop this down on octaves, now we start to get an interesting harmonic mix, and the secret sauce is now bringing in the resonance and adding that into this frequency modulation. That's where you start to get that low end croak. Put an input drive to bring the bass in. Back off on the FM mount. There's just the pure sound. The two envelopes coming in. I can go ahead and back this off to just the normal attack K release if I wanted to. And then let's go ahead and bring in FM and play around with resonance. almost like an oscillator FM pair. And because this filter does self-resonate and go in oscillation, you are in essence frequency modulating a sine wave oscillator just on the edge of producing its own tone. Actually, it is producing its own tone. My resonance is that high. Let's bring in the input and tune these. And maybe go ahead and go for that more extenuated envelope. So that's another very thick sound you can get out of what initially seemed like a very simple, unimposing two-pole filter. And turn the resonance down and pull the input gain down as well. Now, in addition to frequency modulating the filter cutoff, of course, you can also amplitude modulate the VCA. It's not ring modulation. This does not go into negative territory to reverse amplify signals, but you can still get some modulation sounds. So let's go ahead and take the output of my second oscillator, which is coming from the disting, and instead run that into Let's do it into the linear input initially on the VCA. And there you can hear a croak already. I'll turn up the initial level. Open up the cutoff. There's our sawtooth wave. With no AM, we sound like this. There's our pure filtered sawtooth wave. And then when I increase the amplitude modulation amount, you can hear that more complex sound and you see it more of a mid-range bump inside the spectrograph. Again, I can play with resonance on our initial sound and the input gain. Normal filter sound, AM sound. I can also feed that to the exponential input, which gives a different sound. more of that low-end croak really being emphasized now. Go 
go ahead and put an envelope back on this. Turn down the initial amount. A little bit of sound still comes through. But as we go ahead and envelope the cutoff frequency, we can have some fun here. articulates differently depending on what sort of input I'm feeding into this amplitude modulation effect. Turn it down. Go back to a normal filter. A filter that I can happily overdrive. Create a wide range of sounds from So this is a surprisingly versatile little module, and I have to admit, I was initially fooled. Again, simple graphics, simple name, you use things with their default settings, it's just a simple two-pole filter and a VCA, but when you start really playing around combinations of gain and resonance, play around with driving the different inputs to the amplifier, you can get quite a wide range of very interesting, very thick sounds out of it, even if you're using just one oscillator, or maybe adding in just a little bit of AM or FM.